welcome back to Project Simon. Today we are going to disassemble the doors and take them off their hinges. Uh, let's get it started, I guess. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is take the sliders out. I believe that just requires a couple screws, maybe? I'm not seeing right off the top of my head. like maybe the screws no longer exist yeah it looks like they no longer live no longer exist let's take the door catch off First, or do I have to? Yeah, I don't see a screw in that hole. There is no screw in that hole. Yeah, I don't think the screws exist anymore. Let's do a pop and see what it does. These are very rusty, so if there's even any screws in it, I could probably work it out anyway. Hopefully I'm not locking you guys too much. I'm very confused on what I'm looking at. It would almost be easier to get them out if I could get this channel out, but I don't know exactly how that channel is supposed to come out. With the windows still in there. I'll tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the... Uh, Take the catches off the windows first. That might help.
I lost it. As you can tell, I did help you guys out today and didn't grace you with my my butt crack. As the last video, you've seen that I had to edit quite a bit of my butt crack out. Wasn't my proudest moment. Wasn't my proudest. Thing here is kind of hard to get off. If it spins, it's hard to. If it spins, it's hard to grab. I ain't gonna promise you I'm not gonna break a window today. has been removed since 1938. <sighs> too much I'm afraid to break the uh, it'll break the uh, lines I honestly did not anticipate these being a pain in the butt. How we doing on the video? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we working. Are we actually recording?
it was a quick and easy. We put those back together so we don't lose them. I'll probably end up replacing these anyway because they're kind of cruddy. But as I said in previous videos, keep everything together. That way I know what to order whenever I get ready to order. I'll get that other pin out once I take the thing out. Okay, let's try to... That did help a little bit because it helped move that thing up. I can move, remove that, uh, I can remove that weather stripping from up here, I believe it'll come right out. that's my problem is this weather stripping that's in the window frame here this channel is stuck on that weather stripping in there There's a screw there, that means there's probably a screw on the other side somewhere that I'm missing, and I done fat the uh, window channel up enough to where I probably can't see it. Now we know for the next time. There actually is a window.
Yeah, so don't fail like I did and forget to take the screws out. Well, I guess I didn't forget to take the screws out. I just didn't see the screws, so therefore I gave it to take them out. Yeah, I believe that's my screw right there. Yeah. Yep. I was correct though. screw hidden somewhere. Right out. Yeah, I think there's a screw right there, but it didn't come out, so we'll just keep working on it. Yeah, I see it. Sorry for getting your way, guys. These aren't going to stay on the roof, but uh, just for now, that's where they're going to go. Alright, there's that. Let's bag and tag. My parts here real quick.
And I am going to give you guys a pause real quick and I'll be right back. I need to grab a few things inside the house. Okay guys, I'm back. It might have been a good idea to go in the house and grab the camera just in case. Just in case I needed it. So I guess the next thing we need to probably take off is the door ched handle. Now this one's got the little fancy door handle here that does this whole thing. So I'm assuming the first thing I need to do is probably remove this screw. Feels like it's got a nut on the end of it, which is okay. We just gotta find the proper wrench to go on it, or even be able to get the wrench on it. Can I get it down from the top? Nope, I can't. That's interesting, then. How does one do that? May I ask? Does one entertain the idea of getting them off? One may ask. It doesn't even make no sense. That makes no sense whatsoever. Put a nut up there. I even knew what size it was. You can get a ratchet up there if you get the right size. Which is what I just did. I don't know how that ended up working out, but I got the right size. Isn't that interesting? It was actually an 8mm, which is kind of weird for this car being as imperial, but let's do this. Keep nuts with the dirt, they're right below there. Now, I'm assuming that side I gotta take off when I take this off. Uh, first off, let's do the handle. You notice there the handle's got a straight screwdriver slot right here. A little bit smaller screwdriver. I don't know where that bump stuff is. I guess we'll find it whenever we. how you get that off of there. Probably not the proper way to get it off there, but that's how it come off. So. so looking at that, I guess that just slides through there like that. Interesting. These cars were built very cheaply. They were built as economy cars, so they, they made them as weird and as cheap as possible. But somehow they ended up lasting forever and ever and ever. And that was probably why they're kind of like Volkswagens. They were cheap to maintain. So therefore, a lot of people kept them on the road. Then we got nuts on these too. I wonder what these are. Why are they giving me nuts on them?
I guess. Surprisingly, the door jam is not terribly rusty, thank God. Yep, yeah, those are 8 millimeters too. I don't think if it's an actual 8 millimeter, it might be a 3 8. It just seems to be the 8 millimeters working, so I'm going to continue to work. Use. Another box for interior stuff. Well, my uh, my heat air went down. I thought it was getting chilly in here. Interior box. I change my heater out real quick. the regular scheduled programming and of course there's nuts on those also I feel some kind of drain system right here I probably have to dig out why did they put nuts on these that's weird wonder why they just didn't Got that one that doesn't want to work, huh? Well, that one wasn't, so that one must add.
lost the bullet. Projects on the other mini. So I'm going to leave this here for now because there's a couple more pieces I got to get once I get the door or get the uh, I think what I'm going to do being a dead thing is never going to well no I'll take it off I'll be nice and take it off I don't exactly how to take it off though to come off with that I really don't want to take that off because that really needs to be painted with the car. It's almost going to have to come off. And that may mess with the striker plate too. I tell you what. Staying in there. Can't see that part of the pan anyway. I know that kind of sounds cheap. There ain't no sense in it. Card. There's the door card. That's pretty much it. I mean, there ain't much left. You can see the shitty paint job they did on it the last time. There's runs on the inside here. That's pretty much. Pretty much end of it. Let me go ahead and what we'll do next. I don't know if you can see or not, but I'll try to get the best as I can. There's a little check strap right here. Oh, I need to get the, uh, before I get too far ahead of myself, I need to get the, uh, okay, what did I do with Phillips? I need to get the little decorative bits up front. So what I plan on doing is once the uh, car gets off into the body shop, I'm going to uh, inventory all these parts and figure out what I need to order and all that good stuff.
understanding of what I just heard drop other than that. Spacer right there. Maybe here it is. Maybe. Yeah, I don't see anything down in there. So on these cars, somebody might be able to mention in the comments. Does the door panel actually screw down to the door? Because I see some screws down here with like a door panel material. It might be that stuff right there laying on the floor. I honestly do not know. Yeah, that's what fell with that little spacer. Little spacer block. Just like that. Right there, spacer block with a screw. There's that. So what? What's next? This little piece here? What's my next piece on the list? Getting some of this stuff off is kind of fun because it's, it's never been off this car in, what, 50 years? So you just basically just have to just kind of work with it. And eventually it'll start to come. Actually, be able to clean this up and reuse it. It don't look like it's in that bad of shape. I may get a new one though, because it kind of does have some scratches in it. The clips are in good shape. Um. Yeah, I haven't decided how how perfect I'm going to make this car. It may be not perfect. It may be. It may be a little bit perfect. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. The 
this thing was so basic it actually just had a rubber rubber thing on it at one point in time. I still haven't cleaned up my, my table, by the way. I will do that eventually. One day or another. about getting in your way, guys. Those ain't coming apart, are they? You get a little bit better screwdriver. That one there is not adequate. The bad thing is, I don't know if I got one that's adequate. That might be a little better.
It's doing it. It's hard, but it's doing it. Whew. So interestingly enough, the uh, the hinge on this one side doesn't have a screw on it. It's got a bolt, but it doesn't have a screw. Actually, it takes a little bit of glue. No, that's fine. These cars are so basic, you will literally fit everything that comes off of the door in one small quart size Ziploc bag. How interesting is that? Alrighty, so the next thing we're ready to do is get this door off here and hopefully it won't be a pain in the rear end. Miss a screw over here. Yeah, the bottom one didn't have a screw on it, so let me that ain't work. I'm gonna go ahead and just be proactive and heat that thing up. Okay. 
basically what heating does is it kind of expands it a little bit so that it'll break loose. Maybe. Lord, I think I'm going the right way, right? Yeah, kind of hot. Uh, let's see. see if I can find a wrench to get this real quick. Give me a little bit better wrench. Stupid. That's not bad at all. I won't. I don't think I'll have to do a do it. Anymore. Alrighty, there it is. That is a door being removed. Let me, uh, I probably won't bore you with the other side. What I'll do is I'll do it on a time lapse. So let me get the car slid over so I can get to the other side and I'll set it on a time lapse and we'll go from there.
Alrighty, there we are. The doors are off. Next video, I guess we're going to probably start doing the glasses and whatnot. But I appreciate it. Thanks for watching.